Hello, my friends. I am Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you today. I'm going to begin with a very personal request. If you're watching this on Thursday, my sister Teresa is having very serious surgery to remove her pancreas as part of her cancer treatments. I would ask your prayers for Terry, her husband Bill, and the entire medical team. It's scheduled to be an all-day surgery. From time to time, I run across things that just need to be shared with others. Something that really kind of touched me or, or like, wow, we need to hear that. That happened when I was looking at a recent blog by Rick Warren, and he reminded his readers that we need to know, we need to believe that God is going to answer your prayers. And I agree with him, and I'm guessing so do you. But I also think it's real to say that while we believe it, there are times that, well, we don't get the answers maybe that we want, or it doesn't happen in the time frame we hope for. I'm here to remind you today with Rick Warren that God answers your prayers. Ephesians 6.18 says, Pray in the Spirit at all times, and on every occasion, stay alert and be persistent in your prayers. While no prayer goes unanswered, let's look at how God does answer our faithful petitions as you and I persevere in prayer. The first one's hard. Sometimes God says no. We don't like to hear no, but sometimes he needs to say no. Why? Because in his wisdom, he understands that what we're praying for is not right in some way. God is not going to give you something that is harmful. God only gives what is best. Sometimes what we're asking for isn't the best, or maybe it could even be in conflict with his word. But there are times that God simply says, no. Sometimes God says, grow. Why? It's something that you're not ready for. Maybe there's something that you need to deal with something unresolved in your life. Sometimes we need time so we can gain more experience and understanding before we take on that additional responsibility or take the next step in our journey. Sometimes a granted prayer like this could really stress us out if he granted what we wanted. And so sometimes he says grow. And what we have to do in those times of growth is keep praying. Let God keep working in you and helping you to grow and do the necessary things so that ultimately you'll be able to re realize your desire. No. Grow. The third thing he says is slow. Now this becomes a timing issue. God wants us to take it slow when perhaps we're e too eager to rush into something. Can I be real with you? As a society, we are always placing a premium on instant gratification. And let's be real. When we pray, we're hoping God's going to answer us right away, immediately, and do just what we're asking. But growth often takes time. And sometimes it isn't even about us. But maybe someone else that's involved in our prayer needs time before that prayer can be answered. Slow isn't no, rather slow is not yet. Ask God to show you how you need to redeem this time when he tells you to slow down. And then the fourth response, so no, grow, slow, and then sometimes God says, go. When it's aligned with his word and will for your life, when, when you're ready, when the timing's right, God's going to say, go. Go. We wait, we pray, we grow, we persevere so that we're ready when we hear God say, go, and off we go running. I hope that this will help you the next time it seems like God isn't hearing or answering your prayer. That's never the case, but it feels that way sometimes. Rather, always believe and know in the heart of hearts that God is going to answer your prayer. It may not be what you wanted, it may not be the answer that you expected. It may not be in the time that you wanted it to happen. But my friends, God will answer your prayer. 
that will be in your best interest and will be aligned with his will for your life. Now, when I think about this whole thing about prayer and, and how it gets answered in different ways, I think I find this especially true in my sister's battle with cancer. Certainly her prayer was for immediate healing, but it didn't work out that way. As a faithful woman, she has persevered in prayer. God's answered her prayers. God's directed and brought her to the right medical team. God gave her treatments, but often it was slower than she wanted. And it wasn't without meeting some really huge challenges in those treatments. But today she is clear that God has prepared the way and that today is the time to go, to have that surgery and to take that next step. May we learn from her and pray at all times and be persistent in our prayers. Because my friends, God hears us and he will answer your prayers. Amen. Well, some things are happening here at church. Uh, life in the, in, in the church on the hill is really getting uh, geared back up as we are in the fall season now. Uh, Saturday this week, um, we're having our fall festival. It's going to come in two parts. So in the morning, we'll have a vendor yard sale from 9 to 1. And then at 5 p.m., we're going to have a traditional potluck dinner. Barbecue and hot dogs will be provided, and you're asked to bring uh, something to share with those that have gathered. There will be games, activities, and much more. You won't want to miss uh, these two parts of our Saturday event this Saturday, September 25th. Uh, Tuesday coming up, September 28th, uh, Men's Breakfast uh, will be held again at 9 o'clock. It's a great time for fellowship for the men of our community. All men are welcome. I want to personally invite you. Good food and good conversation about. Our next Mom to Mom gathering is Wednesday, October 6th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. We're going to really have a good time that evening with local artist Leanne McGoldrick, who's going to lead the moms in a guided paint for the autumn season. And kids will do their own painting, too. That's going to be fun for them. Dinner and child care are always provided. We will be having another Community Aid Collection Day on, on October 2nd and again on October 3rd. We would ask that you would bring just clothing and shoe items for community aid. On Saturday, October 2nd, the collection time will be from 9 to 12, and then on Sunday, October 3rd, from 11 to 1. Your donations are appreciated. For All Saints Day, please submit photos of loved ones who have passed away between October 2020 and September of this year, and submit those to Martiel Edwards, or drop them off or email them to the church office. And we ask that you do that by October 24th. You can see a few more details uh, in the bulletin. Well, my friends, it's been good sharing with you today. Remember, God hears our prayers. Uh, persevere and know that he'll do exactly what's best for you. In fact, let's go to the Lord in prayer as we close out this time together. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you that you always, always hear our prayers and you answer them in a way that is just what is best for us. When our prayers are answered with a no, a grow, or slow, help us to trust and persevere so that when you say go, we'll be ready to do what is best for us. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, my friends, thank you. It was good being together today. We'll talk again soon. May the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.